It's Christmas time, and with Christmas time, you get some different uh, Christmas uh, electronic devices. So what this is, it's um, a Christmas tree stand thingy, and it has this colored disc. The the light goes. So it had this motor on it, and the colored discs would go on this and then it would pass by the light but the problem is if you put in the power and you turn on you see the light turns on and the fan turns on but the motor is not working okay so I took this motor off just to so that we could test it out right and this is an AC motor. The little sticker kind of fell off of it, but you can tell if it's an AC motor by looking at the specs. This one says it's 12 volt, okay? And it says AC. AC, that's alternating current, and then there's DC. So what I think happened was um, the wrong power adapters were used. So I was given several power adapters that the customer used and they're all broken. Okay? This could be because that this is a bad motor. Okay? The, it doesn't spin at all. And I'll open it up and we'll, we'll have a look inside this motor here. This motor, it has these little tabs, but you can kind of go around and take off these tabs. And there we go. So we have it open now. So I'm just going to take it off these gears and you can actually see the little rotor in there. It has some magnet and I'll have alternating current. So when I attach the voltage, I'm going to attach the voltage to the two other wires. Here's my just right connect it right directly to it, this should spin if it's a good motor. So you can see it moving. Can you see it moving there? It just moves just a hair. So this is looking like it's a bad, a bad motor. Some of the windings inside are probably burnt. Okay, because this should, it can spin. But it's not. Okay. So it has bad. It has probably bad coils inside here. We'll have um, an electromagnet, and then natural magnets in the middle that spins there. It's not working. So I have a couple ideas about how to fix this actually there's some ideas okay so we'll look at okay there we go now, right here is a, it says four to five R rounds per minute. And it uses these gears here. So as it's spinning, the inside guy right here, this final gear will be moving really slow so that it'll be about like four or five spins per minute because you don't want you don't want the lights to, the colors to change too fast, right? Okay. I 
it could have been like just rust on there. This does spin freely, but when it's down there, it does. You need to get it some um, lubricated, but yeah, it is not working now for sure. So I'll have to replace this motor. Okay, there we go. So that's inside the AC motor. I changed the uh, AC adapter. And you can see the tip there. You can see it slowly moving with those gears. The good thing about this kind of motor is you can reverse the polarity on AC motor. It doesn't matter about the plus and minus because it's AC voltage there. So, um, and on this it has a small little rectifier because it's using a DC uh, LED so you can see it has these diodes here and that rectifies the AC plug Because this will be direct DC uh, AC voltage for the AC motor and then it will convert it into 12 volt DC by using four Diodes uh, which is rectifier and this capacitor just smooths uh, off the ripples there. So that's a classic uh, trick to you uh, um, convert from AC to DC anyway, so. I'm just gonna turn on my fan here. So, that's done. Well, see it lights up, so. It lights up and it is spinning. Nice. There we go. Spinning like a charm. Thanks for watching. If you like repairing or electronics, uh, you can uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next repair video.